The extreme cold could lead to hypothermia or frostbite as your body fights just to stay warm. It's why it's important to bundle up. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell is joining us live and Aaron layers are just key with this. Yeah, Carrie, layers is the best way to go. You know, it's a little cold now, but nothing like it's going to be here in the next couple of days. So for an example, I threw on some layers. So I have, you know, my regular T-shirt underneath and then I have this new Channel 5 jacket and then I have this big North Face to go on top and you can go even further, maybe even throw in a sweater. And of course, you want to make sure you have your gloves and your hat because it's going to help prevent you from potentially getting hypothermia or even frostbite. Mid 40 degree weather doesn't seem bad when you compare it to what's coming to the mid state, an Arctic blast. With the temperatures that we're going to be seeing down, you know, close to zero at night and in the single digits during the day, those will prolong your ability to stay outside for a little while. And if you must get out during the cold weather, make sure you're bundled up and don't stay out in the elements for too long. You still need to come in every probably 30 minutes or an hour to warm up. Dr. Hall says you're trying to prevent your body temperature from dropping below 95 degrees because once it drops, our brain starts to slow down. When we get below about 90 degrees, that's when we start to see heart issues. So the heart doesn't operate very well at cold temperatures. And then when you get below, you know, into the low 80s, that's when we really worry about, you know, sudden cardiac death and the heart just stops functioning. It can be difficult to spot someone suffering from hypothermia because people don't change much physically. People may have slurred speech, shallow breathing, memory loss. Frostbite is a little easier to spot on the fingers, toes, or even ears. Frostbite is when the tissue actually freezes. So a fingertip or a toe or the ear or the nose actually freezes and the, the water in our body in that area of the cells actually freezes and crystallizes. And when that happens, it can, it can damage those tissues irreversibly. And if you work around water, be extremely careful. Don't get wet. Because water will pull our heat, our body heat, off our body and into the environment much more quickly. Dr. Hall says the unhoused population, lower income families, and the elderly are the most vulnerable populations because of the code. Our living situation, our food situation, uh, family and friends, you know, all that determine in, in, a, in a lot of ways what our health, health is like. So when it comes to frostbite. I asked Dr. Hall for an example. So he says, say if you do get frostbite on one of your fingers, you don't want to initially go into the house and dump it into some hot water. That is very bad. You want to let your body kind of reheat itself and then get them to the emergency room as soon as possible. And of course, with hypothermia, you need to call 911 and again, get them to the ER as soon as possible. And you know, with these cold weather temperatures moving in and the elderly, he says it's not a bad idea just to do a welfare check on your neighbor just to make sure they're doing OK, because these cold temperatures are nothing to play with. And of course, we have more information posted on newschannel5.com.